What's up divas and dolls? I am back and this time I'm here to do a detailed review on my girls. So if you haven't seen the video which showed the process, you may want to go back a couple of videos and check out me getting my girls done at the salon. So we're going to get right into it. Um, I love, love, love this design. I pretty much came up with it stemming off of some old designs that I had and putting a little bit of tweaking of my own into it. So let's get started. Starting off with my thumbs. I have two floral thumbs, two different types of floral. This first thumb here that's on my right hand is all different colored flowers. I hope you guys, yeah, there you go, can see that. Hand painted, some of the centers are pink, purple, and turquoise, okay? And I used black as a base so it would show up. I didn't take it all the way down. I did like a half and half there. And as you guys know, this is acrylic paint. It is not nail polish. I will show you guys in a few which nail actually has nail polish on it. But this is not nail polish. And here is the other thumb. And it's just a different type of an intricate flower. They have pointier tips. And it looks like this. We have one turquoise centered one and one pink and one purple at the very tip. Moving on to my pointers, my middle fingers, and my ring fingers, which as you guys can see are all the same. Now for the bottom portion of the pointer fingers, we have the ombre zebra here and it's a lighter pink into a darker pink into a fuchsia. The very tip of the nail she did a dot 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 thing and it curves down like a mustache it looks like to me. So I thought that was very intricate. Then we have a set of the Swarovskis here. Now right here in the center of this nail is where you will find nail polish because the base underneath this crackle is yellow and that's actual nail polish as well as the crackle that is on top of it, which is in the color blue. So together it looks more like an alligator or something like that, so I love it. And the top portion of this pointer nail is just the flower going off of this basis here. Okay, so that's the only portion that has nail polish on my nails. Um, we actually use acrylic paint for everything else, the black, the flowers, and the zebra print. Okay, and I forgot to mention that I also have some silver trimming here, just to give it some more definition. And they are the same, the middle fingers as well, the same, and the ring fingers. So I thought that was different to get three the same, two thumbs different, and two pinkies the same. So let's talk about these girls. So we have a neon green base with an orange cheetah print and then what I decided to do is put some gems on but not just the typical stone I actually put a funky looking bow on and I love this bow it is trimmed with black and silver with a rhinestone in the center and it looks like that now for the tip of this nail this is a face yes it is it is the laugh now cry later clown face Hope you guys can see that. It's kind of looking like a cat to me right now, but that's definitely not what it is. It's a mask. And then on the other pinky, same exact theme. It's just in a different order. I have the mask on the bottom and the bow on top. Okay, so those are my girls. If you guys are wondering why they are more square than usual, I told you I never usually get my nails filed, but I got an overlay done. They're just a slightly a little bit thicker. I already previously had an overlay of acrylic on my natural nails. Um, I had been asked, um, it was kind of confusing to say I had an overlay, but this is an additional overlay. I put more acrylic on top, that way I don't have any breaks. And they still remain the same. They don't look that much different outside of the fact that they aren't as rounded as they typically are. But this is only going to happen for me about the filing, that is, maybe once every three months. So I don't take off the top at all, usually. So that's going to take some getting used to. 
Once again, these are my babies. I want to thank all of my new subscribers for tuning in. Definitely, if you're into nails, stay tuned for more videos. I know I'm covering my face, but the girls are taking the attention. <laughs> all right, and let me know what you think about it. Definitely comment and subscribe. And I appreciate all you new subbies out there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.